What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over volume, gain, panning, and metering, and how it applies to everything. So I'm going to drop in an audio track, this is a loop of sorts. I'm going to right click it, when it's selected, and then loop it. So now I have a piece of audio, I'll bring down the BPM to that. Uh, so volume. Okay, so how, how the metering works. So this is how the metering works. So I'm going to press uh, play with spacebar or whatever. Right, so how it works is zero. Right now it's at zero. Zero is uh, the maximum that the audio can be um, in its final medium, uh, which would be like MP3 or CD in most cases, right? So anything above zero, you'll get clipping, right? So that's what it's metering right here when you see the bouncy up and down stuff right and this right here uh, will tell you uh, if it's kind of clipping so we'll clip it when it's yellow yeah it's going 1 db db is a unit of volume or pressure uh, 1.5 db over right so there's that so you bring the volume down in this window up or down right and this is also reflected over here. That's your volume, and that's how you get a balance between all your sounds. In your track, you're going to have multiple audio and MIDI tracks, and volume is what you're going to be using to create a balance, right? So it's kind of like darts, but not really. The, the lower, the, the, in the negatives, it becomes quieter and quieter and quieter, all the way down to infinity. And infinity is the, the maximum uh, you can go down in volume. So negative infinity decibels is absolute silence. And uh, that's pretty much it. Also, there's another thing, and that's panning. And that is the balance between left and right. And that is also a way to achieve balance. Um, it's also reflected here. Right, so yeah, again, Ableton 2 interfaces, uh, but this one's more visual. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, metering, um, there's that, and that's volume. Another way to control volume, so this is something that I should mention, is uh, utility, and that is in your audio effects, and uh, that is gain staging. So you'll have uh, your small little uh, meters right here, Right, so you have your input and then your output. Right, so gain staging will kind of you know correct that. You can also pan it. So what this is for is if you have uh, an effect that's pushing uh, the sound too hot, you'll put this right after it in between the next effect, so it's not working too hard and it, you're not getting sound over zero. And that's called gain staging. And this is another another way to control volume. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. There's also another way to control volume, and that is in your clip uh, editing window of Doom. Your clip overview, you have your volume right here, your dB. So it has zero dB of gain. You have negative, uh, negative. You know, you can see it kind of go down in size. The velocity is kind of going shrinking, shrinking, and it's basically the same thing at the source, right? So you can do like a combination, you can lower that. If you recorded something very quiet, you can drop in your gain. Good example, Brent. There you go. See what I mean? Uh, and there's ways to kind of boost it and uh, adjust things via the source. Uh, you can also right click and return to default anything. It'll go back to zero, zero. And if you want to do kind of refined uh, adjustments in volume you press control for windows and then you can get really fine detailed uh, adjustments in your volume and in your panning and any parameter uh, with that being said um, so yeah you'll see like this one here so what does that mean that means you actually mute it and you can see that it's grayed out right so you're muting that audio and that is your basic transport control. You can solo it so it only plays that. And you can press control and 
uh, click on multiple things to solo if you want to solo uh, or compare two tracks kind of unrelated there's that and then your arm for record button is here and then you click that and then you hit record and then you're good to record uh, but we'll get into recording a little bit later uh, so yeah what else yeah that's pretty much it um yeah, just remember, zero is the absolute, it's called unity gain, so zero is zero, and that is the maximum amount that your end product can go over. So like for the master, zero is the, the absolute, the maximum your audio should be going, right? And if you're clipping, you get red, and that's not good, right? So you put say a limiter or bring your levels down. Uh, typically, what you can do, is you'll want uh, all your audio to sit around a negative 3 dB and you can see that right here right so now we have negative 3 just by bringing that down and that gives you something called headroom and headroom is very important uh, modernly um, yeah I guess uh, that's it um, hope you learn stuff and we'll be right back <laughs>